Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do meal prepping with you. So I'm gonna show you everything I'm gonna meal prep for this week um, to eat. So to start, we're gonna make sweet potatoes. If you've ever made sweet potatoes before, they take a long time to make um, and bake. So today I'm going to wrap them in tin foil and I'm gonna bake them at 500 degrees for one hour. Wake up this morning, I'm sick and I can't be still, girl Too many images running through my mind As soon as I hit it, I kick it out of my system Even my brother, he asked me what you want I'm on some kind of drug So I'm going to then put the sweet potatoes on a pan just in case anything leaks then it will not be leaking onto the bottom of my oven because nobody likes to clean the oven. So once again, once um, my oven is preheated, I'm going to cook all these together at 500 degrees for one hour. While the sweet potatoes are in the oven, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a little breakfast concoction. So we're going to take our ground turkey breast, rams, plop it in there. And everything is going to the beat. And everything is going to the beat. And everything is going to the beat. Okay, now that our meat is done cooking, we are going to measure it out and put it in these Tupperware containers. So, right here it says that 112 grams is equal to 1.5 fat, zero carbs, and 26 protein. So we are going to put 112 grams in each of these dishes, so then it will be ready for us. So you simply take your scale, put your plastic container on there, clear it to zero. Now we're going to put 112 grams worth of meat into the bowl. So we are at 112 grams. So we're gonna do that for till we fill up until we are of turkey. Now we are going to cook our egg whites. So I'm gonna spray the pan with some olive oil cooking spray. And then I'm going to dump the egg whites in. So now that my egg whites are all done, I have them in this bowl, I weighed them out, and now I'm going to take this number of grams, divided by three, because I only have three things of meat for breakfast, so um, that means I'm going to divide this by three, and then that's how many grams I'm going to put in each one of those containers. Okay, so to add something to your already made um, meal prep, you're going to put it on the scale zero it out and then I'm gonna put 235 grams of egg whites in here and make a mess in the process two thirty six same so now so now this week I can warm this up if you want so this is protein packed so you're gonna have a lot of protein right here so you can add cheese on it you can add avocado on it 
Got salsa on it, ketchup on it, whatever you like. So you have your protein and then you can add whatever you like on top of this. So now all you have to do is add a top on it and then you can take it to go. So that is going to be breakfast or I mean you can always have this for lunch, dinner, whatever you choose. So here is protein packed like I said and you can add anything to the top of it. So avocado, cheese, seasonings, anything you would like add to the top of this. And we're going to repeat that with the next three. Sweet potatoes, done. I'm going to let those cool off before I even touch them um, and then wrap them. And then I will take them out and I will measure them and put them in more containers. Okay, so now we're going to cook the chicken breasts. Okay, so now that we have the chicken on the plate, we're just, whoop, we're just gonna line it up like that. And then I'm going to use the barbecue seasoning. I'm also going to use a little bit of garlic salt and some lauries. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of each on there. I'm not putting a lot of the other seasonings because I want the barbecue flavor more. I'm going to actually add some honey on this to make a honey barbecue. So not a lot, just a little bit, um, because I feel like this might be a little spicy for me. I'm a chicken when it comes to spices. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of honey to hopefully take down the spiciness a little bit. Like I am, like I'm not kidding when I say that, I'm like the, I, everything is spicy to me, so. I can smell that it might be a little spicy. So I'm gonna try and knock that down a little bit. Now I'm gonna place this in the oven at 350 for 18 to 22 minutes. So I'm probably just gonna put it in there for 20 minutes and then we will see how that goes. Now I'm just gonna wait for the chicken to get done. As soon as the chicken is done, the only thing I have left to do is get the vegetables. Basically, I'm gonna put my chicken, my sweet potato, and some vegetables in one of the containers like this, and then I will use that for another meal. If I decide not to have the turkey and the egg whites, I, for breakfast, cause maybe I want a smoothie or a protein shake if I go to the gym in the morning, um, that normally holds me over them. You know, I can have that for dinner and, um, you know, you can make it, put it in tortilla. Like, you can make it more dinner-like or I kind of like breakfast for dinner, so if you're one of those people. I am only making two meals um, because, like I said, sometimes I'll have a protein shake or a smoothie for breakfast instead. So that will take care of my three meals. Or if me and Kyle eat together, um, we'll cook something on the grill or, you know, there's more vegetables and stuff that we will cook. So I only normally make two meals, um, because I never know what the week's going to bring and so yeah. So I will show you the final result of my chicken and my sweet potato and my vegetables. Chicken is done. Looks very appetizing. Yum. So once this cools down and these are still very hot, I will put these in a container. Okay, so now we are going to put the chicken in. So you weigh out your chicken, then you're going to zero it out, and then we're going to put 85 grams of broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots in there. 
dump it out. Now oh, 85. Five. Perfecto. Okay, now that I got my vegetables in there, I'm going to zero this out. I'm going to grab a sweet potato and I'm just going to start unwrapping it. And then it's nice and soft. Easy to cut. And then you can just start scooping it in. Since I haven't had a lot of carb sources in my food prep so far today, I'm going to make sure that I give myself a good amount of carbs for lunch. Stir this back out, write it down, and then because I like to make my sweet potatoes a little bit more sweet, I add some cinnamon to it. This just makes it so that I get a little bit of a sweet thing um, to hopefully help some of my sweet cravings. So there you have it. So now I'm just going to do this until all these are full and used up, and then easy peasy, put the cover on. And there's my lunch. Simple as that. So for the final product, I have four lunches and I have three breakfasts. And I literally will just grab two of these and put them in a lunchbox and head to work. So meal prepping is super easy, you guys. It does not take that long. It is not hard. It is not time consuming. If you spend one night a week, two nights a week meal prepping, couple hours a week, um, you will stay on track and yeah, it'll take a couple, you know, a little bit of your time, but after that you are good for days, which makes it so much easier. So, like I said, meal prepping just keeps you on track, it is so easy and convenient. Um, if you do not like making chicken like four days at a time or five days at a time and letting it sit in your fridge. You can, you know, meal prep on Sunday, meal prep again on Wednesday. You know, whatever is easier for you, you can do. You just have to play around with it with your schedule and do whatever is more convenient for you. Um, also, you, you don't have to do chicken. You can do turkey burgers. You can do fish. Um, you can do any kind of protein you want to. Um, you can also do different carb. You don't do sweet potato. You can do rice. There's so many different options you can do to meal prep to get your you know, vegetable or fruit or carb or protein source in. Um, there's so many different options you can do. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my meal prep video. I have got a couple of requests to do this video. Um, if you would like to see more, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.